Yeehaw and howdy! And rooting tooting to you! Welcome to the Stream Archives channel. Nobody on Twitch is seeing this yet. Oh, besides Crowboy, what's up? How's it going? Welcome. Welcome in. I'm gonna make sure this all got posted right. Mmm, it's a beautiful day for gaming. Let me open the window a little extra because it is such a beautiful day. Oh. There's this instinct to go outside when it's a beautiful day. I like to be inside and be comforted by knowing it's a beautiful world out there. That makes it easier for me to relax and have fun gaming. Hell yeah, sup Leafy on, sup Changlini? Yeah, that's right, it, it does look like that other 2D roguelike FPS game, Void Bastards, and that's no coincidence. But Bastards is, is, they do not allow you to say it on Twitch, even though it's the category of the game, is called Wild Bastards. So, that's interesting. Welcome in, folks. Uh... I am starting a new campaign. I beat the main campaign, which is narrative. You get outlaws in a specific order and they have specific conversations. I'm going to start a new procedural campaign today, which I've not done yet. We're going to do regular Iron Man. Or should we say screw it and go super Iron Man? The difference being... When the entire gang is injured... The game ends on regular Iron Man. But they also recover their injuries automatically between sets of levels. And Super Iron Man turns that off. So I'd have to find tonics, and that sounds kind of fun and interesting. But campaigns can be quite long. I was a little confused because I thought I played on Iron Man, but then I lost a sector once, and I just got warped back to the beginning, which does not feel... Iron Man, but let me check my achievements and see if I got that. See if I maybe never played Iron Man at all. In which case, we'll go to regular Iron Man and not jump right to Super. I completed the game normal Iron Man, so we gotta go Super. If I want any single one of you to respect me, we gotta ratchet it up. You can get around it by removing the space between Wild and Bastards as MD Bat. That's smart. Uh, and that's not my thing. Being smart. I kind of want to try hard, and it could be a huge mistake. We're going to try hard Super Iron Man, because I've got my head around this game a bit. By the end of the first campaign, it was too easy. That's like my only complaint about it, is we got so upgraded that I was coasting through the last couple sectors. And then you unlock challenge modes, which I've been playing, which are... That's right, challenging. So that's been really fun to get back into, like, every fight is a fight for my life. That's when this game's at its best, so I do want to try it on hard and see how it feels. Having done normal Iron Man before. I like to save these for the character that benefits most from them. Gear like this, where you get an extra bonus for a specific character. But we're doing procedural campaign, getting characters in random order, so I have no idea when I will see these characters. So, we'll just throw them on and accept the bonus we get. Armor pickup on kill. Who's got more armor? Uh, Fletch. Gotta be Fletch. And then that leaves Casino. Don't want to leave out Casino. He'll be resistant to fire. And we'll try and remember that. Picking our next level here. Uh, this is dangerous. And this has something good. Uh, a level up for one of my characters. So we're going to go to this one first. Get to work. Sending the squad down. How we looking? How we sounding? Welcome, everybody. Do bats as I heard there's a secret Ultra Iron Man where it removes your game license on death. That is sick. That's such a sick idea. So, welcome to Wild Bastards if you haven't seen it because it just came out today. Uh, I've been playing it like a week and a half and really loving it. 
Um, this is Fletch. I'm going to be doing some first-person shooting with her shortly. I hope you enjoy it. The question is, do I go right through this first roadblock, this first shooter encounter, or do I head into this sinkhole and emerge at a random location, which could be further from my friend who got separated from me on our way down here. Oh, which I shouldn't throw friends around, the word friend around, because there's a friendship mechanic in this game, so... Uh, then my associate. We're not pals yet. We're not considered pals by the game. I think I'm gonna go sinkhole and see what happens. It's beautiful! Thank you, Skip that fight, went right to casino. We live! Do we, do we, now, now I think, I think we doubled down. I'm one from a sinkhole? Kinda got to. Oh my god, and we're right by the aces. We're right by the core aces. This is so great because we got fast, uh... No, we don't have fast princess. They just arrive in one because we're on hard mode. This up here, Prince Francisco arrives in one. That's our... That's our ticking clock. You'll see, uh... You'll see them arrive right now. Grizzle Gaming, thanks for the sub. I tried to fix the alert sound. I don't think I did. Maybe I just didn't hear it. Grizzle Gaming, thank you so much. It's the kids of the main villain, Jebediah Chaste, that uh, come after you. And this includes uh, his daughter, Francisco. So let's see, I got six moves. I can get, grab these aces and dive right back into a sinkhole because anything else I do, she will catch up to me next turn. And it's a really hard fight, especially with my two level one characters. This literally could end the run if she catches me. So I'm gonna go for these aces and I'm gonna promise you that I will show you shooter gameplay soon. Oh my god, this is so lucky. This is like a special scenario where it's extra sinkholes, right? Is that part of the... Yeah, hollow. Here comes another one of Jebediah Chase's kids. And you normally get more dialogue from them, but in the we're in the procedural campaign where it assumes I've heard all of the dialogue already. Because once you hear all the dialogue from the characters, it doesn't replay that dialogue. In the board game thing. Yes, many sinkholes, no teleporters. I, like, trust me. The shooting is fun, and we're gonna get to the shooting. It's gonna be good, but that was a hell of a first planet. Sinkholing all around to completely random destinations. That benefited me a lot. Because these guys are weak on level at level one. But now we get to jump up to level two before our first fight. Uh, here's our first choice. Damage increased by a lot is good. Subvert on hit, I absolutely love. There's just a chance when you hit a guy, they'll start fighting for you. Allies are so strong in this game. Uh, and then more health, more armor, which would be more... Uh, a little safer, a little more reliable, but I want to choose the fun one. We're subverting. What do we got for old claims casino? This is the new uh, core A, so I don't get to choose this one. When I beam down, I'll get $100. And this stuff is all random. The stuff you can't choose and the stuff you can choose, it's still random from a bunch of things. I might as well of you to steer your way towards me when I scattered down there. Now we're officially pals. Because Casino got separated, Fletch found him and brought him back. So that made them into pals. And now they will help each other when we're in battle. Fletch makes Casino invulnerable. Casino will toss out some random pickups for Fletch. This happens uh, when you're getting your uh, poop kicked in in a fight. Um, this is a weak planet. There's only one piece of loot. I feel like I'm just going to jump right for this, even though all damage is doubled. My first hard mode fight cannot be on a planet where all damage is doubled. I have not tried hard mode yet. We're feeling it out. Neil Smith, thanks for the sub. Loving the classic Leo loves a game smile. I appreciate that so much. It's funny, this is one of those games I like am playing on Steam Deck in bed and I'm like almost mentally streaming it. I'm like, I wish I could be explaining the cool stuff that's happening to me right now. You know, so it's fun to finally be, be in it. Great basic hard mode planet. We, we got to this little bonus thing so we can help ourselves out at any roadblock which are the little showdowns, so I put some invulnerability pickups for myself here. And now we're gonna try a hard mode fight. 
Here goes. This, the list at the bottom, you know, you, you play a game for a while, you start mashing through stuff, you cannot not look at who you're up against. Like, it really matters. Learning the enemy types and how to play around them. These three, not as much as some, but sometimes you really don't want to get caught off guard because there's a type that specifically, like, hides around corners and they're really good at it. And you need to be on the lookout for that if they're there. Okay, first subversion, 25% chance. We got it. So Fletch, fully charged bow shots, automatically home in. Oh, double ally. You switch characters like this. My two characters, you switch on the fly all the time. Depending on who's better for what individual fight. I'm gonna be a few casino here. Oh, Fletch just called out turn right. Because there's an enemy to my right. That's one way your your friends help you. Whether your pals or not. Always ready. Night. Oh. Yeah, see so I peeked too long and he got me. Overall, not as bad as I was scared of though. Hard mode so far. Count me in. Four enemies left, two allies so far. Maybe I'll try and subvert some more. I'm gonna grab this invulnerability. And just rush in and start subverting. Let's see if I can get a couple off. I normally play on Steam Deck, so I'm getting used to uh, mouse and keyboard controls. Okay, round two. I, again, these are pickups I placed here for myself. I set myself up for success on this one. One enemy left. Got another invulnerable. Feeling fine. Seems like they're in the barn base where my allies are shooting. There are those little guys around. They're... They don't hurt anybody. There's little NPCs around the map. They're mostly there for flavor and to scare you and... Uh, who is he coming out? Sweet. And the certain characters, like, get you can get healed by shooting people, so you can just shoot the NPCs to get, to get health. Like, you can play with them being bodies. I wonder if you can subvert them, actually. I should try that. But I don't know if they even, like, have attacks. Um, so Prince McNeil arrives in one. I just picked up Nitro, so I am going to, uh, use it to go extra moves. Nice duster for some bonus health. Maybe I should have put that on Casino since Fletch is the armored one, but whatever. We're vibing. We're flying. Super Iron Man hard mode. Once again, for those just joining us, I am... Brave! Posting on number six, thanks for the sub. Appreciate you. Rich McLaughlin gifted in three subs? Thank you so much. Rich McL. A non cape wearing hero. I assume, let me know if you wore a cape. My girlfriend was just telling me about somebody she went to college with who wore a cape and sprinted between classes. That person sounds cool. Chinonator says, I'm here rooting, tooting, and ready for shooting. Let's go. Changlini, every combat encounter is a mini Call of Duty match. Looks pretty cool. That's a good way to put it. It is like... I don't know. I love how the layers of planning ahead for it, prepping yourself for it, and then uh, having to make decisions on the fly once you're in it. Like, every fight, it kind of gives it a cool pace where the fights are mattering a lot. And there's a build-up, and you're not bored when you're not doing the fights, which is how a lot of games that try to mix up the, the between-round metagame ends up going. Snow planet. Deadly. So this is the double damage planet. The most difficult prince will arrive first. So if I get caught, I'm extremely dead. But, I mean, deadly damage... All damage is doubled for me, too. So if I play well... Uh... I'm still unoptimistic and scared. And you know why? Is because these snow banks end your movement. So no matter what kind of nitros I get, what kind of extra moves, I still am going to have to take a minimum of one, two, two turns to get to this exit, the stairway, where you're trying to get to on every map. Um, I think because they're arriving in two turns, I don't have time to check out the shop or the rage drop. I think I just need to brute force this. 
I could always... Let's see. Maybe I'll go back to the teleporter, because you open up teleporters. These teleporters here are closed off once you beat the roadblocks. So it could be better for me to go back to this teleporter and then go through, versus go to the snowbank, which ends my turn. So let's see about that. Crankers! Now these are your Gatling gun type enemies. They uh, charge up and take a long time to reload, so I'll try to not get caught out in the open while they're blasting. Get them between cycles. Did that hit? Or did they get up the ladder in time? Again, this is the one character I've been showing most. I happen to start with them in the procedural campaign. The one character who has lock-on shots, so it's a little different of an experience. But every character is a little different. They're beautiful in their own way. I'm going to go up there and hope I'm not suddenly in the muck. Ooh. Oh, God, no. I was in the muck. I should have peeked before I came down there. Okay. Health is low. There's some health pickups. They're pretty rare. You got to kind of work for them. And more often you have a build that lets you heal in certain ways. Oh, and there's the back door down there which spawns more enemies. I gotta get to that. I hear him charging up. I need to turn this game up in general. Let me see. Because sound matters so much. If it still sounds good to you, I'm gonna change it on my end and hopefully it won't affect anything for you. Do you like this or Void Bastards more? Yeah, sorry, Void Censored, Shaunanator. Um, I love Void Bastards. And I do like this more. But I think I could go back to Void Bastards at any time in my life and have a great time, and I'm excited to. Both very, yes. Oops, wrong key. I don't know the keys on my keyboard. Will someone teach me the keys on my keyboard? There is fall damage that could have screwed me. I don't know if it was the snow or the sliding down the cliff that worked. But yeah, Void Bastards is very, it's a, it's more of a System Shock Deus Ex type of thing. It looks and feels pretty similar, but it's a lot more about like traps and different weapon types. Using your weapons wisely, and this is more like using your whole characters wisely, which right now, you know, they're pretty basic. But once you get a ton of weird ass cores, then it really, really weird ass aces rather, it's, uh... It matters which character you are a lot in a lot of weird ways. For instance, this one having the chance to subvert an enemy on a shot. Like, that's huge. Oh. There we go. Case in point. They did their best. Health and armor pickups you automatically get at the end of the round if you don't get them while you're there, which is good. So I got four left. It's three to get back to the teleporter. It's absolutely the move to go back to the teleporter and not go through the snowbank. Which is great. These are all uh, procedurally generated. The maps, there are a lot of them, but they are uh, custom made, the combat maps. So there's a lot of variety in these boards and how you navigate them. I'll pick up Casino because Fletch is so low health, I want to switch to Casino for a minute for the next fight. Uh, but I'm out of moves, out of options out of luck. The good news is the people chasing you get caught on the snowbanks too. And they don't know they don't know about my sweet teleporter trick. The big one is the space bar. Thank you, Sean. Hager. Thank you. Do enemies have a bark as good as biscuits revoked? There are some pretty good barks, I must admit. Uh, mostly because they like just yell cusses, which I think was the case in Void Bastards too. Maybe it wasn't because you're fighting mostly robots and stuff, but the humans in this, they got potty mouths. Sorry to twitch in advance. Okay, I'm actually feeling pretty confident about this. We'll put some juice here, which is great for Casino. You'll see what his juice does. Juice gives you your character specific power up. Then turn in this snowbank and then I'm feeling very secure. I'm actually feeling so good. Is it comparable in the field to the moments in Siege when it's a 1v1 for the round win? It kind of gives that vibes. There are some crazy clutches in this game, for sure. Making big mistakes and ending up with six health, and then you're like creeping around every corner with four enemies left to go. Feels completely impossible. You're truly almost like, maybe I just throw this, go back up to the ship, start over, it'll be fine. But then you manage to pull it out and feel amazing. I've had a lot of those moments. And it's not just because I'm good. Uh, 
Um, okay, this map is a little tougher. Close range, so definitely casino casino vibes on this one. I'm casino with the shotgun. On the lower right, penetrating is what I got here. That you get a roll on uh what bonus your shotgun gets. That's one of Casino's passives. And I also have his juice, which is roulette, which kills a random enemy, just like that. So the fact that I dropped a bunch of juice is gonna really help me. It's gonna take out like half the enemies if I can get to the juice. I see the back door. It's so dark that I'm being extra cautious. Ooh! Oh my god. Roulette got my- I did my roulette ability and it got the cranker. Did I close the back door? Oh my god. Maybe it didn't get the cranker. Maybe I got somebody behind the cranker. Okay, waited for the gaddling to turn off. And then peeked in. This one is so dark. Hope it comes through okay on the stream. Oh god, I can't even see his eyes there! That's- Oh! We saw him run in there earlier. I assumed he left. Okay. So, if we can't win this as Fletch, it's an instant game over. We'll have more security when we have more bastards. But you start with just two. Okay. Here we go. Fletch's ability is a, is a quick shot in every direction. Like any enemies within a 360 radius. Yes, that hit. Oh! You know what though? I I think hard Super Iron Man might be fun. I think I want to start again. Wow, there's no way out of this, right? If I had a tonic, I could heal them and be fine, but yeah, campaign lost. Let's go. Un undeterred. Cause I want that unlock. Ooh! Because this unlock, the back doors you've been seeing that I've been running up and turning off, those are enemy spawners that you see less on the lower difficulties. This one makes it so they spawn good guys for me to fight with me. Which would, like, make very hard mode a lot easier. But this is, you know, gear you have to find and equip, but, but you can. Alright. Well, if we can't have the same guys. Why would it give us the same guys? We're doing procedural campaign, outlaw orders, randomized. There we go. This is an interesting duo. We got Hop Along, the lasso farmhand snake, and uh, Faith, the healer. Gatling gun, breacher. Let's see how this goes. Who helps at the Bean Ranch? I think Hop Along might, might help us at the Bean Ranch. And those words all make sense in that order. Why do they censor the title of the stream and not the title of the game? I am asking that myself. Okay. Let's pick up on kill. That makes sense for the healer to have that. But I want, I want Hopalong to have something. Hopalong is tough before you level him up. We'll see how this goes. And at the end of this sector, we're going to unlock the judge, who's my favorite character. Yes! Give me them beans! Yeah, yeah. That was a choice I made. Because I had Hopalong, I could send him to the bean ranch and get good beans for us. Get some good, good beans. Low gravity planet. Two low gravity planets. This has slightly more loot, but I, uh, the enemies are unpredictable. This, I know the enemies are going to be gun hands, blasters, and morticians who are all hard. So let's try this one. Charged aces are based on fatigue, which is how much you use the character. Hopalong got fatigued for getting us beans, so he doesn't get his bonus of extra health. Breach, of course, not Faith. I was playing Mirror's Edge, I think, and that's why I called her Faith again, because she's a preacher, as you know. Makes sense. She does get her bonus, because she's not tired. 
Not much value for going up there. We'll want to get this chest. Tonics, again, like I said, will save us in Super Iron Man mode. I'm going to have to be going for Tonics way more than I usually do. We got two turns before the guy spawns there. We might be able to get... Uh, get there into the teleporter and kind of kite him around? Maybe only if we have that open. Looking where the teleporters are. I think we'll just go for it. And this is a little bonus where I send half the guards to lunch. So you see we got three bushwhackers, six yellow bellies. Ding the chow house bell. Now it's going to be one bushwhacker, three yellow belly. Hold the right mouse button to aim, increasing accuracy. Does this count as an immersive sim? I wonder, Porn Curly. This is a... This rides the line. Certainly Void Bastards, I don't think I would have a problem calling that an immersive sim. Even though it is a roguelike like this, with kind of instanced battles. Okay. One bushwhacker, right? It's just gonna be one bushwhacker. That's the guy who hides behind corners. So we're gonna listen. That little exclamation point on the compass is where you hear an enemy. That's for sure an enemy, right? Yeah, that's his gun barrel. Oh! That guy's got a shield in front of him. Um, I'll have to flank him. They can't shoot through all this, which is good for me right now. And keep being careful and checking every corner. Anybody? Anybody still out there? Yeah. One on the roof, right? They gotta be on the roof. Lost I'm gonna go as Hopalong, who sprints silently and quickly. Oh! Gonna break into the church. This might have been the guy. I'm not sure. So I got some invulnerability here. Wow, I just misread where they were. So many to flank. Oh my god. Invulnerability. Clutch invulnerability. There is no like, I need to save this pickup for later. You it will save your life if you use it. So you must. Um Hop along stunt, which I just got juice to perform, is a stun stuns every character on the map for 10 seconds, which is really strong to make up for his kind of weaker gun. You see how close I have to be and how long I have to hold them when it's unupgraded. But he has one of the better abilities. And there's the guy here. Oh my god. Bushwhackers not, don't just hide around corners and get cheap shots on you really reliably, really quickly. They do a ton of damage. That would have, like, probably killed Hopalong if he got the shot off. Health's back up, so we can save this health pickup. Even though they come back really fast, I wonder if that's different in hard mode. In this very hard mode. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. We're going to have to take the full lap. If we don't want to fight McNeil, I think we can take the full lap, hit the gas station for more moves, and we'll let him chase us, ring around the rosy to get back here and get that chest on the way. If that didn't make sense, you'll see it in action shortly. Just got Void Bastards recently, it's pretty good, so I might have to check this out. Hell yeah. I do recommend it. Oh, right. They all mutate. I didn't see what they were before. Four bushwhackers? Potentially scary. And not even worth looking ahead. Because they're all gonna change. Ironclad's very scary. Again, learning the enemy types is crucial. And even choosing who you send down to the planet based on them. Some good juice, good juice at the top of those containers. I think that's a bushwhacker over there. Let's see if I can shoot him right at the start. Oh no, he ran away. Okay. What are they feeding these boys? Yes, be stuck on the wall. I promise I've never seen that before. I'm so lucky he missed. That's what's interesting too, is you really can't run around and get cheap kills by being amazing at shooting. 
At least if you're only as amazing as I am. Oh, caught him where he's hiding. But if you upgrade your speed on your character a lot, suddenly you kind of can do that because you're really dodging real bullets, you know? It's not like they're just hit scanning you. They're just shooting really fast. So that's fun when you have a build built for speed. Uh, Preach's bonus is uh, her, her juice power is to get health back when she hits enemies. So I think I'm going to pocket this for if I lose health. Low gravity, I think, makes me safe to do crazy jumps. And we can get this juice for hop along. I hear them so close. Let's go for him. Crack the whip on him. Got myself some time. Should have a couple seconds still. Low gravity is really fun in this game. It makes the maps, like, feel really different. <laughs> they actually didn't. Again? Pretty much a bug-free experience when I play it. And that bug is of them getting caught on the walls is really helping me out in Super Iron Man mode, so can't complain. Cracking the whip on them, and we're guaranteed. We're in. Love it. No choice but to stand. You have a little incentive to take extra fights because it increases your infamy, which gets you rewards. And I... Huh. I think I'll go for the Nitro now. See if I can... Because there's an enemy on the tonic, so I'd have to take that fight, and I would end my turn there. Or else I end my turn at the gas station, which gives me nitro. I take it, I end turn, and I think it's back next turn. Well, now I still have to go through that guy. I was hoping he'd move somewhere else. No, this is perfect. This is perfect. Taking more nitros. Getting the tonic, going the long way. And then, oh, actually, am I too close? Is he gonna get hit me right now as he starts moving? Three, four, five, six, he's definitely gonna hit me, so I gotta use my first nitro. But I'm still gonna be a little risky with it. I'm gonna end at the gas station so I get more nitro next time. Nitro the thing that gives me more moves. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'm trying to explain things as I go, but it's a lot out of nowhere, I'm sure. And the guards found me anyway. They go in random directions. So bad luck. We're going to start with a hop along one in case I get caught out in the open. Some hop along juice, I like to call it. Enemies are spawning in. That happens sometimes. Oh, it's so many shield enemies. That's actually hard for me. We gotta crack the whip already. And you know what? We don't have time to lasso him. Yes. Oh no. The shields are so strong. This is a pretty good start. Oh, the protons go through the proton shield. Oh my God, I've never seen that. They shoot proton beams that go through these green shields. Oh my god. Seven enemies left. They all have front facing shields, so you kind of have to flank them. Let's see how wide we can go. I don't know if I saw any spawn over here. Look for more juice. The hop along juice is going to save us. There's one out there in the middle of everything. No juice. They're always pointed in such smart directions, and their shields are so wide. They're a really difficult enemy type. Nope. Maybe I should have just shot him. The rocks are blocking the protons for now. I'm going to flank this one up close and personal with the hop along sneak fast sprint. Ooh. 
Barely dodging those. Oh my god. Sprinting for the juice. Oh, the low grab's so slow. Okay, great. Do we have health pickup maybe? We got a chance at health pickup on kill because of my gear. Now how do I- Oh, he can do that! Oh my god! He can shoot through that! Do I scare him? Can I make him think that I can? Oh my god. Run him up! Health pick up, come on. A little bonus for my hard work. It's a 25% chance, I think. That's hard. Glad we survived. The proton beam through the proton shield. It's an interaction I've not seen before. He wouldn't have quite touched us if we stayed there. We would have been one away. This looks cool. It's reminding me that I should go back to Void Bass in the meantime. For sure. That's the one that's going to be cheaper right now. And it's still good, so why not? Alright, we've been collecting nitros, so we have a total of... We have six moves to start. I'll replenish that twice, so that's 18... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, plenty, plenty, plenty. As we one less. <laughs> no, no, that's the perfect. This is perfect. We're so perfect because we're gonna keep it all in one turn before the next bad guy spawns right there. So we won't have to worry about that. As long as we survive these fights, which I'm not guaranteed to do whatsoever. Silverdom says, I'm about 10 months late, but I just want to thank you for convincing me to play Hitman in the GOAT roguelike mode. You are so welcome. I'm so glad you liked it. As I think about this year's goaties, it is funny to think, like, I love the finals. I am going to fight for it, but, like, Hitman's freelancers might ride or die. That's the one my... Uh, ooh, uh, uh... I, I'm dying. I'm I'm not riding at all. I'm just dying right now. It's distracting me. Uh, I gotta be hop along so I have more health because I can't afford to get injured. It takes a tonic to heal an injury. Okay, I'm gonna seek out that mortician. I can see those spirit blasts are spawning from there. Oh, he's gotta die before the spirit blast hits me. Oh my god. It destroys his spirit blasts when he dies. So that timer on the, the lasso killing him was... Excruciating. <laughs> you got this. An eye for an eye. But I don't want to look for them. And we saw no proton enemies, I believe, so I'm not too worried about the shield this time. You. You gotta burn down the armor before you start shooting. I'm glad he wanted to be so close. Okay, we'll destroy the boss. Die, 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 die. Cool. And we got the armor for Preach. Great. Bonus health. Great. Love it. We'll get the beacon, which lets us escape a planet early when we don't have as great of a plan and as great of a setup as we do right now. As I said, I have six extra moves. Five or six? One, two, three, four, five. I could throw away here to do this things, these things that'll make it easier. So let's do that. More nitro, please. We'll pick up the armor. We'll hit the chow house to half this group, which is gonna, I think it completely removes the single characters. This will help a lot. Yeah, so now it's just two gun hands there. Huge, huge dub. Except I might've miscounted because this is more than six to get to that, but I think we'll still be okay. Two, three, four, five, six. We'll at least not be right on there when the next prince arrives, which would make us instantly fight them. But we might have to fight to make Neil after all. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. So we might be in a way harder fight because we tried to make this less hard fight easier for ourselves.
because we're ruled by fear, and that's the problem. If you know what I mean with Hitman, though, like, what are, like, amazing games I want to celebrate, and what are, like, Come this on, game man, is me? Zeno. And I and I fought for it last year, knowing like I'm not gonna fight for anything this hard next year. And kind of wanting to honor that, even though I feel really strongly about the finals. That game is amazing. I love it more every day. New new teaser dropped today. Next season looks fire. Just you and me, gun hand. Those are little sound waves we're seeing as we hear. The play there might have been to use Hopalong to farm health. So, I could have played that smarter probably to set myself up better. Grug! Hey, Leo, long time, first time. You checked out Deadlock yet? Seems up you and your friends. Ellie, yes, talked about that on the podcast recently. We are landing right on it! But first, this guy arrives and gets to us. Oh no. Oh no. With Proton Assassins. Oh my lord. They haven't spawned yet, so I can sprint for this juice. You can see enemy zero in the upper right. That means they're gonna spawn in after it starts. Ooh, what are you doing? Like? Super Spy was just itching to get back to the Hitman Roguelike mode today. One of the best games, greatest games ever made. Love it. I, yeah. I can dip into it at any time and remember exactly how great it is, how fun every encounter is. A moment. Round them up. Okay, two juices, five enemies. We'll have to do. No! I bumped the key? I didn't even stun him. He must have spawned right after. Okay. Gotta land a McDeal. Oh, no, there's... No, no juice, right. Um, whip crack, reload. We gotta kill McNeil right now in this whip crack. See who else I can get. Um, I can't move in as hop along and whip crack him because I would have been right next to the other one. Those are the teleporting guys. We're actually doing amazing right now. But we do have another fight with a harder group right after this. Where are you going? Blinking? Left. Left. <laughs> Wasn't using his head anyhow. Got some cheeky shots. Dang it. The heart on you. I'll run further so he has to warp. Let me both for this. Did I see him around that corner? Where are you going next, pal? I don't think he knows where I am, and I don't think he warps me unless he does. Let's see if I can get away with a deep flank here. Is that his silhouette? Yeah. Hey, man. That could have been a cactus. I really did not know if that was it. All right, new turn. Crunched. Oh, do I? Okay. I'm happier to be facing four uh, scorpions, inescapable stingers, and four teleporting guys. Brooke says, would love another final stream. Miss Alex and Samir. Thank you, hell yeah. Maybe I should do them for min-max. 
Would he pay me to? Would Hanson pay me to stream finals every day? I was thinking about reaching out to Oppo, who's my favorite finals content creator, seeing if he'll carry me and Samir in the new season. Dual deagles for the heavy is the most exciting thing about the new season so far, and it's a lot of cool stuff too. But that's like amazing. And if you know Samir, so Samir coded or the heavy of the group. I think I want to get this juice for Preach to heal. They're spawning in again. Round them up. Word them up. Okay. Whip crap for this. Whip crap for the stingers. No, we have to kill. We have to kill her while we can. And and I did it before that guy spawned in. Damnation to heal off the shots as she lays into me. Lasso. Oh, no. I let go of it. Got hit with the stinger while I was on the lasso, and I think I moved too far. Okay. Do I have bullets in Preach's gun as I switch to her on the ground here? I was hoping you could see it in here, but hoping beyond hope. Okay, reloaded. It ain't over yet. They fire homing blasts from any distance. Oh my god, they're doing the same thing I am. They're like peeking me. Oh. I'm really hoping beyond hope for more juice. A power up, anything. They're doing poison damage over time. That's the purple. Which normally you switch to the other character so the poison damage doesn't go down. But no choice here. I'll have to sneak and stop and pop, but they have so much armor. I have a decent weapon for armor. It's like one hit takes off armor, so the Gatling gun's really good at shredding it down. No! This is a great place because I can see exactly where they are before I peek out. Shred those boxes. They're behind them, right? Or are they all the way behind there? Hopefully this will just be tedious and not run ending. But they're so good at hiding. This is the extra hard variety of this creature. One tap. Okay. Progress. I wonder if you can change your weapons to be proton. If there's any gear that does that. I'm just hearing that one, right? My gosh. See, I got so lucky with that one tap. This is such a close range weapon. You could shoot the stingers? I, you can shoot the stingers out of the air. But it's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> did it get destroyed for another reason? Unclear. But you're supposed to like start charging this up as you peek because it gets to such a faster fire rate. So I need to be doing that more. Now you're behind there. You hear the telltale sounds of you. And there's one over here. Okay, so we can go left to right and hopefully not be exposed to both at once. Huge.
And we got the tonic on this planet, so I can heal Hopalong after this. Although, I won't get ahead of myself. Okay, here it comes. Charging up. That's the exact play. Amen. Wow. Two princes back to back. It's probably early in this stream for it to be clear how... Uh... Gary, that was. You know, I could have just used the beacon at that point to get off the planet. But then we wouldn't have had that fun moment. And... Might come in handy later. Well... Picked up the tonic on planet. They're not feuding, but we will... Share beans between these two. Just have to help each other out now. What does Preach do? Tosses out health pickups. And how long stun little enemies? Two great ones. Roadblock guards can be bribed on this one. Which would help if we had any money, a single dollar to our name. Low shop prices might help us. Grizzlies are tough. Scared of those. Scared of those. Okay, cool, Max. Just tuned in. Is this PvE? Yes, it is. All PvE. Yes, thank you for keeping up with the... Yeah, where I talked about Deadlock. It was last week's episode, I believe. And I'm so-so on it. I don't take a side on Deadlock. We can go sinkhole crazy again, but I kind of want the guaranteed tonic. I kind of extremely want the guaranteed tonic. But it's such an easy path straight to the end if we go straight up here. I think we don't risk this. That's so much harder. This way we don't have to face any grizzlies, and I'm scared to even show you guys what grizzlies look like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we got the ally now. So great for covering fire. These both. Yes. I'm loving hard mode so far. I this game is at its best when it's hard. Some games are like that, some games are not like that. This is all toxic water and I'm scared? It would poison me if I landed in it? But we're getting to this secret back entrance? So many gun hands. Uh, gotta go. Reloading. Somebody come up here, come up the ladder please. Charging up the Gatling gun again, that's why I'm firing it behind the cover. Oh my god. It is so- I love like- Hey, what's up, buddy? Sneaking in the back way, taking this position. Fun little fight. You land to the end. Was, oh, it was two weeks ago they talked about deadlock. I was out of town last week. I went to Vegas. I won it big. Don't treat me differently, because I'm super witch now. Promise. 
All right, last one of the sector. I want to unlock Judge so bad. I want to show you guys Judge. Tough enemies. Porcupine's hard. Ironclad's hard. Blaster's hard. Great. Everybody's exhausted. Nobody's charged up. We're rocking. <laughs> Five difficulty, I don't know if I ever saw in my normal difficulty run. And this is the first sector of my hard run. The little skull at the bottom of these characters. So it's two fights either way to get to here, which is where my outlaw is stored. Plenty of turns till the prince arrives, and he'll arrive here. So he could catch up if I don't make it there fast enough. Oi, 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 tough choice. Subvert of the next roadblock would be great. Yeah, these are better fights. I gotta head this way. I can always split these two up, but I'm just not confident that I won't need the backup life having a second character around. A lot of juice. Four porcupines. Porcupines you have to hit perfectly in their weak spot or else they will shoot a ton of needles at you. And I don't have any... This weapon is not accurate. Hopalongs might be better. For, uh... I don't think they shoot it out when they're being stunned. Okay, I can't even last of them. I was wondering if I could farm them for health pickups. Shoot your needle? Yes. Shot his needle. Might have been too long. Oh! Okay, that was my ally shooting at it. Can't quite make it up there. Two porcupines over there. Two porcupines. RP. I might hit him with some of this. I was not fast enough. Right. Oh, shoot. I thought because Hopalong stunned them, they wouldn't eject their needles because they don't when you're in rage mode, which shoots them, which stuns them every time you hit them. But. Breach has one health now. That's a rat. Health pickup. Health pickup. 25% chance. 5%. That's plenty, yes. Again, they pick them up automatically after the level, but I like to do it myself. So I'm independent. I subvert it. We'll put Rage there. And Lava Blast next turn. Those are porcupines there that I might end up having to fight. And that's a lot of them. As, okay, so I got some allies here because of the mind control thing, which I picked up on my way. A couple of these will be my friend. I got rage, which stuns enemies as you hit them and always crits I think so maybe I'll want to be preach more but her health is so much lower A moment. but definitely she'll benefit more from the rage because it's about rapid shots no Yes. Oh my god, I'm holding him in a lasso while his friend unloads into him. With the... Get moving. They shoot. I'm out of here. With the... His minigun. I just held him there while his friend shot him in the back trying to get to me. That was sick. Those little green things are that caustic fire guy. I've got so many allies still. I'm loving that. Yeah. 
We're cracking. Got an enemy over the hedge there, perhaps? I'm getting mad. Yes! Oh, wow! Rage, honestly, has felt like the least useful pickup to me, but for enemies like that that you have to hit a lot, have to stand out there and burn down their armor, like, it's nice to be stunning them with your shots. And I haven't used it with Preach. It's really good with her. Got all my health back. We love. Okay. We're gonna play it safe and get this group of porcupines away from me. I'm stepping on a relocator here. And I'm gonna put them in a place that is, they won't ever get here. And now we're gonna lose the beacon. I actually, that was a waste of time because we're gonna lose the beacon at the end of this sector anyway. So I'm just gonna use it now. And we beat sector one on Heart Super Iron Man. I'm really proud of that. And welcome back my favorite character. Thank you, Retro Gamers. The Judge. You're gonna find real quick why I like this character so much. Now we're going after Roswell, who's an interesting one. Hey, type guy with the laser beam. The idea is that you're going through each sector finding where each character died and you're on this special ship that is bringing you to them and resurrecting them for an unknown purpose. That's the story of the game. Not 800, right? Great! Um... Armor plus two, I'm probably gonna put on the Judge because he'll be rolling alone for a while. Reload would be huge on the Judge as well. You can just see who my favorite character is. And Rate of Fire only makes sense on Breach, and that could actually be really good. 50% faster with a Gatling gun could kind of be crazy. If we take this route, then we get to go to this, uh, planet with extra loot and tougher enemies. We're after these cars because that's how you level up your characters. All the characters are level one right now and that's really unusual, but it's because I've been fighting for my life. Going after different stuff. I guess the question is, do we want an ace for Preach? Do we want one for Hopalong? I think we do Hopalong because then we're going to get one for Preach there. Okay, good. God have mercy on us all. Making it to these next places is guaranteed to none of us. I'm gonna send you the whole gang just to just to show how the bunch stuff works. Okay, so we lost Hop Along, so now Preach and the Judge are sticking together. Not worth it to go to the gas station. Okay. So reload speed is going to help us on the judge because he's got a single shot rifle. Snake Dude is a great character. I wish you could hear their voices more, but you hear them more in the narrative campaign. I'm in the procedural one you unlock afterwards. But they, this snake guy has my favorite voice, and they all have amazing voices. Yeah, the presentation is super slick on this. This is a good uh, little sniper's map. Oh, I didn't pay attention to the enemy types. A moment. Let's play catch. Again, primarily playing this on Steam Deck feels amazing on it. I bet I can shoot that out of the air. My ADS speed is so slow, though. Would it even be a Leo Vader stream if I don't go on the side and change my sensitivity? Okay, better. Throw it again, throw it again. 
Oh, right, there's a back door. I kind of need to rush through this and go turn that off. Spawning new enemies in the back there. See you. Dear Lord, remind my friend yes. Explosive and barrel I'm moment. We're gamers. So those are the guys who hide around corners waiting to shoot you. And it's really satisfying to snipe them. You know what, right there, um... Crit zero out of three, this character charges a kill shot that kills hitting anywhere on the body with three critical hits. These guys are pretty low health anyway at this point. But for like bosses, princes, it matters a lot. Oh! <laughs> He's kiting me like a bro. Okay, now check this out. We got we unlocked judge time with this juice. Gonna go up and get the next round. Moving too fast to register. Keep picking up. Round two. Oh, we still got the explosive guy. You can't shoot him out of the air? Please to confirm that. He must be, uh, up here, right? This guy's the biggest danger when there's a million guys around and you're getting the explosive chucked out of you. I'm not too worried about it right now. He's cloaked. I didn't see him when he was in there. Kill shot. <laughs> Kill shot ready. He has a cloak, too. Ooh, no hits taken? Sniper on a camp of shotgunners? Very fun little fight. Yeah, we talked about, we just discovered how good Rage is on Preach, so now we'll increase our chances of getting to Rage out. Mind control enemies there. Get our nice little core ace. Make our way there and see if we can avoid getting hit by this patrol on our way to pick up our friend Hop Along. Now here's something. Bunch moment. We'll split them up. Now they can move separately. We're gonna have Preach go pick up Hop Along. Cause they're pals. So they give each other the pal bonus. That's that thumb up, thumbs up. While the bunch rides, the, the judge rides alone in his solo bunch. And we'll see how we do with some uh, subverted enemies here, some friends. And just the judge alone in this fight, no character switching. Leo, I know you're fully into Wild Bastards right now, going off the podcast this week. But have you jumped back into Wayfinder after the relaunch, says uh, External Heart. A little bit. I, it seems like a great Steam Deck game, but it was reliably crashing in the same spot on Steam Deck when I was trying it. And I need to go back and see if they finished that. It fixed that. That barrel turned into a... Turret? That happens? Oh, I'm getting mated too. No, come on! Every barrel is... On the enemy team. I want this little spot. I think there's one in the building. Oh my god, he's behind the pickup. Ooh. And the, the explosives are from a subverted enemy who's my friend. I don't know if they're... If they don't hurt me, I think they might still. Oh, he's gonna get him. No, he's missing his shots. Oh, 
Excellent. See, the ally popped out, made him pop out, and then I could get the headshot. Allies are so strong. And there's a character called Rawhide who has a bunch of critter allies and can subvert critters. Another really cool character. Let's see if I can load you my save and show all the characters. Maybe I don't want to spoil them all, though. later says what's next in the bastard verse i was struggling to read your name in that color on my monitor and i thought it's a horror tater so i had to take a step over there and double check Present. um let's see they done space prisoners and now space cowboys so next i don't know space uh roman centurion would you pog for that chat I still have, this is still a zero dollar run, which is kind of crazy to me. I literally have not found any currency, because it's rare. And then once one beams up, we all go. Hopalong was never in a fight, so he's not tired. Oh, you know what though? Him being alone, maybe I should have sent the judge to get him because they would have become friends, perhaps. Hopalong would have liked the judge, and he was already friends with with Preach. Great one. Heal every planet turn. Great card art, too. By the end of the campaign, this is full of people. Every, every little spot is filled in with a character. And it's funny because, like... They just go where they go, you know? They fade into where they stand on this screen, and so I don't have anybody in the front row right now. Nobody's steering the ship. Judge is just on, on computer, playing on computer. Elite enemies, but more loot. So let's go just... Preach and hop along again. And uh, leave the judge for next time to maybe do the next plan all by himself. Yeah, so he gets his armor back. Fatigued right now, tired little guy. Did so much. One fight, one, one fight, one kill. Let's see if I can get some rage pickups from Preach kills that I can use on the Ironclads. So I'll try to take out the Hunters first if I can, or the Yellow Bellies. These boys need prayer and bullets. Facts. No rage from that one. That. I'm so lucky that didn't go worse. Destroyed the cover. Love that. No rage down there. Cracking the whip. Take him out the old-fashioned way. Will I even have time to do this? I hope there's nobody else around. Yes. Yellow belly underneath. I think I'm in good position to be behind. No, they. Oh! They outplayed me so hard. They're destroying the cover! Just like I love to! Oh! Ah! And that proton guy shot me into the sky. I got hit from the underside, and the proton blast shot me into the air. Who we got left? Mental math. Not an ironclad, it's that guy. Yep, we'll fall damage. We'll fall damage, never hurt nobody. I want a health pickup now, I changed my mind. Oh, actually, the, the gear reset because we went between sectors. Okay. Three health for breach. 
We'll be leaning on... Oh, no, we won't. It's one fight. I forget. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. We're good. Get the ace and get out. Cool. So that was an elite planet. More harder enemies, more loot. But because it was so small, it was like a condensed great amount of loot with only one fight. Love this one. Fast reload on kill for the judge. Very fun, very satisfying. With my reload bonus already, too. I'll be quick firing. Catch my ass quick firing next planet. Level up my charged ace so I get a better bonus when I'm not fatigued. Hop along and preach. I don't really now. know what you think you was doing down there, but stop goddamn doing it. There, Lord. This is the one I was telling you about <laughs> earlier. This some bitch right here. <laughs> great characters, great voice acting, great writing in this game. I haven't shown that off at all, but that is a real element. Their friendship. It's falling apart, and I don't know if that had anything to do with how I played, or if it is just the same random chance no matter what you do. Them just being on the planet together, I'll make that happen. Straightforward planet here. Hoplong's already... ...feeling... ...better? Miss Potatoes, the second stream I've watched of this, and it seems fantastic. Swag. Uh, I'm glad you think so. It's so pretty. Void Bastards is already a really cool looking game. I think this is a, a stroke of perfection. Okay. As the Wild Bastards themselves might say, shit. Here's our problem. Prince McNeil is coming in one turn. He's going to arrive right here. If I head straight towards my friend who's been scattered, I want to rejoin them. My turn will end there. And I might be able to get away the turn after that. One, two, three, four, five, six. But they'll catch me the, that, the very next turn. I don't think the pace changes. I think the next prince is gonna arrive one turn after that. But I think it's my only chance. The thing I was thinking about is this guy up here can steal from anywhere on the planet. So I could potentially steal something. I could go up here to bring the princes up here, steal something I don't have time to get to, and then teleport somewhere. But I don't have any way to do that. I just have the beacon, which will teleport me away. And I don't wanna do that until I get my my friend back. So I think we're just heading straight for it. Five yellow bellies with their little shield converters. Let me check something. Force field shield and the yellow bellies. These are so hard I'm looking for like a way to take them out better. Because all I know right now to do is flank. Their force shield protects from everything except sonic shots. Flanking here using lob dynamite are the best tactics. There's a dynamite throwing character. So, as hard as it seems, I'm afraid. You may have already explained this, but what are feuds? Um, they were pals, and they became mid with each other. It's like the feuds page that can have, have uh, pals on it, or people are indifferent, or feuds. And if they're feuding, they can't go down to the planet together. You have to pick like, oh, these two can go, but the third one doesn't want to go with the second one, so they can't come at all. Because they're feuding. And you heal that with beans, which is a pickup. You have them share beans. Okay. That wasn't a kill. He's behind a shield that I can't even see. 
It's a night map. Heard. That is a non enemy NPC. I wish the shields like glowed in the dark a little bit or something. I think that would be fair and fit. I like that they complain about not being able to see as well. I think these are cool. I don't mind these maps. They're really moody. There's a guy in here too, right? What else we got? There's one in there. More jokes from time, please. Mind if I do. He should, he got one off, didn't he? I didn't take any damage. I'm not sure what that was. Maybe Mitch just missed me. I think he shot at where I was and it hit the wall and the force of it knocked me back. I think that's what that was. Still no money, but I can sell something to get money? No, I don't have anything to sell. Damn, if I didn't miss y'all. Aw. Rogue like or light, what's the progression like if there's any? Throughout a campaign, which is like 10 plus hours, you, it, there's a lot of progression amongst the characters that you hang on to between the worlds. And then you unlock challenges which are standalone, but you those unlocks are gear that you will find in all your subsequent runs. It's that it's that kind of thing, which I think we should have a word for at this point, where you're just unlocking variety for your rogue runs. Because is that roguelike or light? Do you have opinions on that, Chad? Is that a roguelike or a roguelite when what you're unlocking, you are unlocking stuff, but it is just variety. It must be just a, on the side of light, right? This is a fun one, by the way. I kind of wanted to go this way because just to get this stampeding herd, because they move through all the showdowns over the course of a couple turns and flatten them and like uh, kill half the enemies. So you can be like going behind it, waiting for it to go and then moving in and fighting less enemies. Miss Potato says, you think I could run this on a laptop? Probably, if uh, if it runs on Steam Deck perfectly, crisply, then you're probably fine. Okay. Two crankers. And four yankers. Hopalong moment, if ever there was one. Hopalong's gun is so weak, that lasso thing. It like is so hard to get used to using. Wasn't using his head anyhow. But sometimes it really has its moments. Like when I held that guy in place while his friend shot him earlier. Pretty sick. Let's see if I can farm this guy for crits to do my kill shot. I guess not. They all in that building? Nope. Oh, it's, it's a guy shot running away. One more try. Oh my god, it worked! I didn't get the crit last time, but this time now I have a kill shot. Okay, so I can move in and get a free kill. I've got a plan. I've got a route in mind. Let's see how it goes. This slows down time a lot, if that's not clear. I didn't want to use my kill shot on this guy because he is my, he is so weak already. Oh. More juice. Oh, damn. No, I'm throwing it all away. Oh. I was lucky there was extra juice in that barn. 10 seconds goes by faster than I expect with that one. Um, 
The move here is to go here and we call it a leap of faith. There's a one in three chance this pack is gonna come right at me. Or I guess they could go towards the exit too. And I could use a beacon because I have so many, but I, I, I'm confident I can take the fight if it happens. Yes. Beautiful. We dip. I dip, we dip, we dip. What do you mean by variety? New levels? No, just new mods so far. Just like I have on these characters mods that change things. The ones I've unlocked so far in the post game are like 300% extra damage to princes. So when you get in those fights with the people chasing you, you can like one shot them, which is pretty run changing cool stuff. But yeah, just gear and pickups on your route like that. Could, could Pilon survive in this world? No shot. Okay, what do we think? My main campaign, I had Preach spec'd completely into health and no armor, which makes sense because her stunt heals her. So I ended up like a, like 400 plus health, like a huge tanky pool. I think the play for how hard this run is, is the heal self and partner after showdown. I think that could bail me out. I strayed from the pack down there and you done found me. You got my thanks. Wow, friendship ended with Preach. The judge is my new friend. Hopalong's posting that on socials. Oh, I have, th that's so funny. I have three beacons and there's only two worlds left, so I can only possibly use two. So I definitely could have used them, but I, I can always uh, sell them for infamy. A lot of potential loot here. Ace for the judge. Everybody sleepy. Howdy. I've been ready. Judge scattered. Let's pick him up. It's time to beacon out. What do I want before I mave his beacon off this planet? I want the tonic. I need my friend. I actually don't know what happens if you beam without getting your friend. You know my playstyle. I never, I never don't get my friend. I can hit the sneak thief down here to steal that chest or another tonic. No, but I gotta. Well, yeah. If I'm gonna beacon out. Any other thieves? Yeah, I definitely get more stuff if I go to the left. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. But I'll, I'll mind control first. And looks like this is the only level three I'm gonna have to deal with. So I'll go ahead and subvert the enemies there. With that little pickup I just got. Okay, God, again, I wish I had the sniper for the porcupines who have the, the really important weak shot, weak, weak point. But hop along will help too. Do I dip right into the building? I think I switch right to Hopalon's sprint in the building. Get to the roof, maybe put a plan together. A moment. Howdy. I hear them clinking around. The little tapping of their little toes. Run! Run, you foolish little imps. Or does Star Wars own imper imps for Imperials now? Look at these guys scatter. They're trying to get a shot off. They don't look like shooting type enemies, but they are. They drop explosives and they die. I'm gonna get this rage and take out the porcupines with it. I think we're good. More rage? Okay. Again, the rage stuns them so they don't shoot out their needles when you miss the weak spot. 
as I'm wont to do with this, with a weapon such as this. So, Rage is specifically a great porcupine counter. That's a, those are another real sentence for you. You're behind that. Ooh! We should be able to hit the gas station twice, which is great, too. Especially if we're not afraid to fight these. This pack of three types of critters. Rattlers are tricky, too. They burrow underground, and they shoot poison. Always get your friend, Samir. You know what it's like to get one's friend. You do it every single finals session. Very niche Mavis Beacon joke. I needed her to damn teach me where the keys were on my keyboard. Remember when I pressed F instead of E earlier? <laughs> I hope nobody clipped that. More porky peas. Oh my god. Okay, I am surrounded. I'm gonna have to whip crack to rush the porky peas, the porky pines. They're the biggest threat of this these types of enemies. They're coming. Oh, they're just shooting. I thought they were gonna come up the ladder. Which, the ladder works where it kind of teleports them, like so, as you can see. Which is like, stylistically makes sense with the aesthetic, and it's... looks fine. And you can end up predicting, like they're rushing for a ladder, so you train the shot above where they're going. And you feel smart for predicting it. That feels cool and snappy. And it's like, easier, obviously, for them to not have to animate all that. Every, uh, animate a... Coyote running up a ladder. <laughs> two enemies, two whip cracks. Hopefully, this works. There's some health around for my dear Preach. Who, again, I switched off her because she got that poison damage. You can see on her health bar. That would tick down and lure her health more if I. I went to go play back, play as her, even though I would have preferred to. Had to let her keep her health. But yes, she heals her friends now after. Fantastic. After every showdown. Now the judge runs ahead. Now this is interesting. Now this is interesting. I think I'm going to send the judge ahead to take on this roadblock, and I'm going to send... It's so stupid. I really should be using the bunches, the bunch I have, the two people at once, to do the fights. But I just love fighting as the judge so much. Like, I should send him to go pick stuff up and them to fight, but... Sorry! It's the opposite day in this joint. Yes, and there's the porcupines here. Great. Let's see if I can tap those weak points. One behind there? It's a mortician. Oh, double juice. Effortless. Take, if you need to nap, take one now. There is no concern in my little brain for how this is going to go. Forgot about the gun barrels. Those are a threat. And if I can't find them, okay, there we go. I need to hit them twice. I need to upgrade judges' damage if I can. Just me and you, porcupine. Me and you. And some barrels I'm nervous about between us. That's one. That's definitely one. The little tick on it. The little pinkness. Yep, that was a gun barrel.
would have turned into a turret when I walked by it. As the one on my left did. It's it's truly the fact that you can outrun these bullets with speed is is so nuts because they're like I swear they're programmed to know how to lead their targets. Which I'm so not used to. It's very impressive. You know, know where I'm gonna go. I man. And I want y'all over here to get that chest for me. And maybe we'll build. Well, let's just have everybody fight. I, I really like moving two teams around the map, taking multiple fights a turn. That's very satisfying. Even though, the, again, the thief could totally get this chest. This will double our. If I take this out, this will double our chances of somebody getting to the stairway. If, uh. Fighting the princes puts us in danger. I moved the wrong bunch. Your boy moved the wrong bunch. I throw my moves away. <laughs> Your boy threw moves the wrong bunch. Okay. Well, huh. Maybe. We'll see how this plays out, because maybe... Maybe the captain, the prince, will will charge Preach and hop along, and Judge will be able to move through. No, I've got too many moves. I'm going to end up there. But I can end up the teleporter and teleport to definitely be further away, so they for sure go there, which is what I think I want right now. I'd rather have them fight the prince. Interesting. Nice, I subverted some of these enemies. 18 coyotes is crazy. Especially with a single shot weapon like I have myself. But now I've got two coyotes and a porcupine with me. Let's see how this goes. Yes, get a high vantage point, Porcupine. I love that. Snipe these fools. Ooh. Oop. There we go. There's the other Porcupine. Can I do a jumping crit on the Porcupine? Great. Eight of these little guys left to go. Oh, some armor laying about. Make a sound. There we go. Does that- do you release needles? Do you release needles if I do that? Uh... Did he crouch? Sorry for panicking so much. <laughs> I was worried he's gonna release needles, which again, it's like eight of them and they home in. And depending on the enemy type, they poison you. So my fear was super justified. Furthest teleporter, and turn. Great. A perfect juke. Give myself some vulnerability here. So maybe the best use of that neon holographic look video games love. It is... Cool, the glow on everything. Very impressive looking game on my beloved Steam Deck OLED. They saw that. They literally saw me. OK, 
It's all critters. On this planet, it seems like. Okay, yeah, come to the sound of my bullets. I'm doing my best not to use my precious judgment time, but I'm kind of missing embarrassingly. There is, yeah, there's such a rhythm to these enemies. You'll see me crouching and stuff. Right when I think they're about to shoot. Oh, or destroying the cover that's going to protect me from them shooting me. And then they shoot me perfectly. You might notice me doing that. I'm rushing this bolt. I didn't hit the crit. The needles are coming. I think I'm protected here. Yep. But who's been sniping me? Got a kill shot waiting. There's my invulnerabilities. Let me just grab some invulnerables and do invulnerable for the whole rest. 40 seconds of invulnerability. Let's go. The problem is the snakes pop up and leave so fast. So I follow the sound cue of where they are and they're gone by the time I get there, especially in the dark when I can't see them from afar. <laughs> I accidentally spent another one because I couldn't remember F and E again. Painting fell down behind me. We're still in it. These damn little snakies. There we go. I'm invulnerable. How about you, snake? Did you get an invulnerability pickup? I don't think so. Um, we'll send... Yeah, we'll reunite the gang. That's what we'll do. And we'll get the tonic and we'll get out. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. There's a documentary about Mavis Beacon from recently that I'd like to see. Hmm. Where did she first discover typing? Look at the friendships blooming on the damn ding-dong-ass battlefield. Love it. I think I want to keep hoarding my tonics, but I... Yeah, great. Send out all three because it's the last of the sector, so our fatigue will come back after. Everybody's pals, so it doesn't really matter who I... Or no, everybody's pals with the judge. They hate each other. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I just don't switch off when I'm playing yeah. as the judge. Residing. That's why I send the judge alone so much. Where's the stairwell? Okay, there it is. Sell my beacons for infamy. Amen. At this, sh this shop here. But whatever. Oh, I shouldn't take cover by that explosive barrel. confident. Wasn't using his head anyhow. Uh, 
getting my arse kicked. Yikes. So many angles to look out for. Good calls. Good calls, Breach. Alright. Worked out great. Two enemies left. Got a whip crack with me. Who shot me? Right above me? Oh, he's behind cover, or did you take the ladder? <laughs> That's a fun little Gatling gun deck. Keep moving, power through. One stealthy hunter. I don't know much about those stealthy hunters. Smoke bomb can be suppressed. Caution keeps them in cover when facing heavy fire. As a last resort, please using smoke for cover. So preach seems good for suppressing fire. Oh god, um, I must, I must. There's too much, there's too many looking. Kill one, uh, kill another because I'm greedy, and then I have to run. Get another whip crack in the pocket. There's still so many, I, oh, I'm not liking any of my little angles. Oh! <laughs> Okay, I need to whip crack and be amongst the trees down there. Being on the rooftops is not helping me. It's letting everybody have an angle on me. One more whip crack. Let's see how much work I can do. Everybody's here. Smash Brothers style. We're so good. We're golden. <laughs> see? More enemy barks where they just yell fuck. Don't overthink it, writers. We march on. We march on and we send Judge the other way just for damn fun. Let's see how this goes. Not many enemies, lots of barrels. So we gotta stay clear of the barrels. So we're down to go barrel hunting. There's one now! It took away three armor right away. Because I played foolishly. In the manner of a fool. Ooh, I know I got an angle here. I see him, he said. We're the full map apart. I can barely see him. I just want to talk to you. Impressive, impressive AI. Truly not complaining about that. Outlaw, where are you? He ain't popping up. This isn't the cloaked hunter though, right? This the stealth hunter that I just read about not Jimmy, wanting okay. to pop up. I have to get the upper angle. More barrels. This one's explosive. That one is the one. Armored front on these coyotes. Oh. Oh my god, armored every side, I've just noticed. I just see the armored nose, but I think they got armored everything. Ah. 
These are like the tiniest, littlest, little, most basic enemy. And they still pose a threat if you got the wrong loadout, which I do. Single shots are bad for armor like this. Oh my god. And again, if we're not clear, I like it. I like how considered you have to be. It's not just about shooting. It's about planning. Think he's still there? Jethro, you okay? <laughs> he's the only one and he misses Jethro. Okay, is there a back entrance to this point? James, all right? Amazing. So far. <laughs> but like I knew that guy was there. Where in tarnation are you? Again, so many barrels and the one guy is hiding on the roof. So how do I get an upper angle? I think I just have to take this barrel out, but there's gonna be so many more barrels in there. And the barrels don't have a crit point or else I would be going for headshots. And getting them. Don't forget, and getting them. No barrels. He sees me? Oh, that fricker sees me. He's got armor too. Oh. That could have been bad. We're heading, we're gonna send him back for the health. Hallelujah. Or he could teleport, group up with Preach, and then get healed next turn automatically. But since we got the health there. How many moves you got? Judge. One to the teleporter. One, two, three, four to put some allies here. Yes, let's do it. Judge, you're about to come in handy so much. Got it. Contract the allies for here. Love that. Love helping each other out from across the map. That's the bunch thing is, is really fun, really novel. I knocked him back off the roof. Oh, I whip cracked. Out of instinct, out of fear. And there's always invulnerability in the churches, which is interesting. Lore implications. Religion implications. I'm invulnerable. Shoot me! I like it. I actually like it. Head to this whip crack. We're fast and loose with the pickups. No risks. That's very uh, like the new Call of Duty. That you grab and pull them around. Is there a back door? No, it's just a satellite dish in here. Still got an ally. One. Just hold that trigger down, Miss Breach. That's it. There's coyotes. There's a bunch of coyotes. Might be only coyotes. Come on. Naps over. You got this. See ya. I think shooting him in the arse helps a little bit with the piercing the armor. Alright, I think that's our last, like, challenge of the sector. I wonder if I'd be brave enough to continue this on Steam Deck. I think I'm having a little bit better luck in the shootouts because I'm on Mouse and Kibi. Mouse and Kibi Weeby. I've been 
ready. We're staying. We're staying for one turn. We're going to head to the pawn shop and get rid of the stuff that's going to get gotten rid of at the end of the sector anyway. Which gives us infamy, which gives us better starting items in the next sector. And we don't need this beacon because Judge is going to head to the exit right now. So we didn't use any of our three beacons. Let's go. Turn him into infamy. That was a smart move. That was a smart metagame big wing play. Well, he's kind of the sassy one. I wonder if Arc will be a Leo type of game. Combat looks pretty cool. I put that on my wishlist today, Porn Girly. And it's like, it's in a bundle with I Am Your Beast. I don't know if that does anything for anyone, but... Check that out, and it seems so. Oh, right, the tonic decomposes too. I thought I could hang on to that, but I should have sold it too. Great run. Smokey is awesome. He's the cook, and if you say one negative word about his beans, he feuds with you. Let's see what rewards we got. I just topped 800 with my sales, which is great. Or no, I'm totally wrong. I had a lot more than that. Another reload bonus, extra life, another companion, great. Um, before I close up shop on this stream here, I wanna show the challenges that you unlock after the map. It's stuff after the main campaign. It's specific characters, specific rules. So this one's pretty basic, but then the second one is everyone is feuding. So you start out where only you can only send one person at a time to a planet because nobody lets, nobody wants to go down with anybody else because they're feuding. And you are like really prioritizing beans to open up your options for sending people down, which is cool. And then you unlock this mod, which makes you pals with everyone. The one I spent a long time trying to beat, I just beat this one last night, is uh, the Lone Rider, where you're just casino on some really hard maps but you can save Spider Rosa from jail and she's really good. You start out with a lot of cool abilities and then you save Spider Rosa and she is fully kitted out once you're able to do that. And she's like placed randomly because it's a procedural little campaign, mini campaign within the challenge. Those have been really fun. I'm excited to play more of those. Um, I'm in the middle of one right now. Let me just show Spike the character. Let me do one level with just Spike. Who right now has homing blades and random pickup on kill. Let's get to work. Three beans, no feuds, but y'all are gonna be friends. Spike is a hacker, sneaky, throwing knife type character that I think you're really gonna like. Oh yeah, this is an itinerant world, so there's no roadblocks, but it's a bunch of patrols. Couple good cards. Want those. Not many good teleporters. I think I'm gonna split them up and send Fletch down there. Yeah. Let us begin. Let's get to work. All right. Although I could have the thief steal it. I'm a fool and an ignorant. Well, I'll just steal the nitro, then Fletch can go run there. Take a quick fight as Fletch first before I show you Spike. Oh, 
this juice might bail me out of this horrible situation. That got a lot of kills. It shot an arrow in every direction, everybody. Ooh, I hear. I hear the spirit bomb coming at me. They send, uh, this one sends multiplying spirit blasts, which is so bad for me and who I am and what I stand for. Oh, and this is bad too. And shoot it. And this is bad too. And shoot it. Am I hitting the balls? It just takes so long. You can't send a shot unless you have it fully charged with Fletch. <laughs> Great. Two health. Exactly the amount I was prepared to end it at because you go over here and heal full health. Hello again. Easy. Now here's Spike. Now here's a character I really think you're gonna get a kick out of. He subverts those gun barrels that were giving me so much trouble earlier. Uh, and if there aren't any around, he just spawns one. So I'm gonna put one in kind of a central area. After every kill with this guy, you go invisible for a couple seconds. And you can get aces that uh, increase the length of that. I know that guy's got armor. Okay. We're kiting. Oop. No look kill. We love the homing shots. And you can do that with without homing shots, too. You can send them and forget them in a really satisfying way. Oop. Do it for me, turret. Beautiful. I love all the characters that are ally focused. The cook can spawn in with an ally once you upgrade him. Building like an army is so useful. I just found the poison. There you are, Mortician. Damn, it's got a great range. I don't know what he's saying in that one. We They played at villainy, we showed him villainy is my current theory. Like we showed him real villainy. Two morticians. I really want to be better at prioritizing those. They're the ones shooting out the spirit balls and they can really stack up. Interesting having this challenge with, because I found the homing mod for homing arrows, and Fletch already has homing arrows. For homing bullets, rather. Fletch already having homing arrows. I gave it to the throwing knife guy. It's been fun to have two characters where, like, the, the aim doesn't matter at all within this campaign. It's more about uh, positioning. Positioning your damn turrets, too. The challenges have been super fun. Again, my one gripe is the campaign gets easier and easier as you get more and more upgrades, and the challenges have been really hard and and fun. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Let's see what upgrades we got. Maybe not the subversion for the challenge. Oh yeah, Spike can hack power stations on the map, which turn off the security too, which is like all the robot stuff. He can hack them for, for longer than everybody else. Anyway, I love this game. It's out today. Uh, I hope you like it too. Void Bastards is for sure cheaper and probably on Steam sale right now. So you can check that out if you like this style of game. A roguelike immersive sim of this general ilk. 
It could be for you. I'm going to go get dinner with the sweet love of my life. Uh, but I'll be thinking about you all the whole time. And I mean that. Let's send you on a raid. Wow. To Ellie Joy Panic, who literally just started. Starting soon. We won't even be thanked because they're not even streaming yet. So that's how humble I am. I don't need to be thanked. Y'all will just simply already be there when they get started. Wow. That's big of me. Get ready for me to be really annoying about the final season four. I promise I will be. I'm so excited. I've been grinding. Have a great night, y'all. Do your have fun doing your own grinding. Whatever that looks like. Bye.